Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. This is the first beer review uh, that I am doing since I got back from my vacation. Uh, I did about a week's worth uh, of, uh, of reviews before I went. I did not post, and y'all have been watching those uh, uh, since I have returned from Florida. Logged in about 2,500 miles down and back, and was able to pick up uh, uh, a massive selection of beers uh, along the way there and on the way back. I did make several stops at certain places and uh, uh, toured a couple of breweries and a couple of brew pubs and uh, it was very nice. Had a great time guys. Uh, enjoyed all the comments that y'all have left. Uh, I did have a great time. So uh, almost three weeks uh, away and uh, had a lot of comments uh, uh, from you guys uh, wishing me well on the trip and I do appreciate it. So. I reviewed this beer uh, about three years ago, and I can't get these beers. This is Sweetwater 420. Uh, and I, when I reviewed it three years ago, I called it an IPA, and it's not. It's a pale ale, guys. Uh, this is done by Sweetwater Brewery. They're out of Atlanta, Georgia. And these beers are available from North Carolina all the way down to Florida, uh, Alabama. I mean, they're, I mean, just about every state, but they don't go quite far enough into Virginia for me to get them here. Uh, once I cross the North Carolina line and Greensboro's got them, uh, they're, I mean, just about every state that I've traveled through, all the way to Florida, uh, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, I think Alabama had them. And they were down in Tampa. They were over in Panama City. They were everywhere down there. Uh, one thing I did note, uh, I mean, Cigar City is all over Tampa. I mean, that's where the brewery's at and the brew pub. But once I got over to Panama City, I couldn't find any high la or any of the Cigar City beers over in the Panhandle. So, uh, very limited distribution. I did the brewery tour uh, while I was there at Cigar City. Uh, and they weren't operational that day. It was on the weekend. Uh, and they basically took you around the outside and let you look in and everything. They didn't take you down through where everything was going on. So, uh, it was okay tour. I mean, I've had a lot better tours than what they were doing at Cigar City. Uh, I did get to meet one of the owners, and uh, he wasn't as hospitable as I was hoping he would be. He basically acted like he didn't have time to talk to me. <laughs> so, uh, as far as that goes, Cigar City, bite me. You make some good beers, but uh, your hospitality leaves a little bit to be desired. So, uh, thought I'd bring that up. Uh, I love Hala. It's a great beer. Marshall Zukov is another great one. They do make some very tasty beers, but uh, they're a little on the arrogant side as far as I'm concerned. The guy giving a tour was super nice. Uh, he was really nice and funny and uh, did a great, great tour. But like I said, I was introduced to one of the owners and he acted like he didn't have time to talk to me. So That's the way it goes in the beer business. Uh, uh, some days you're the windshield, some days you're the bug. Uh, <clears throat> This is Sweetwater's 420, like I said, uh, it's a pale ale. I reviewed it about three years ago, and I, and I, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was a name beer, guys. I picked up a six-pack of, of these while I was there, and this is the only one I got left. I saved it for the review, because I wanted to re-review it since it's been about three years since I'd done it. So I don't want this to be a massively long uh, uh, beer review. Uh, so let's get on with this one. This is a uh, pale ale, like I said, ABV. It says on... Uh, a rate beer here that it's 5.2, but I think it's more than that. Uh, says best enjoyed by 7 13 2015. Uh, bottle condition for your pleasure. Uh, doesn't have the ABV on the bottle that I see here. Uh, 
Beer Advocate says it's 5.40, but I was thinking it's it's a little bit bigger than that, like 6%. But, you know, when they don't put it on the bottle and you got conflicting uh, ABVs, it's the two sites, right? Beer and Beer Advocate. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, these guys can put the uh, the ABV on there. They're, they're big enough to do that. And I do not see it, guys. It does, it does not say anywhere on the bottle what the ABV is or the IBUs. It says here, uh, I don't have the IBUs listed here. So a lot of these guys like to keep this shit secret and I don't understand that. I mean, it seems like you'd want to put the ABV on there. And a lot of times uh, the IBUs wouldn't hurt, hurt any. So uh, it is what it is. It's around between 5 and 6%, whatever they... Uh, Whatever they think they, you know, think that it's going to be because it says 5.2 and 5.4. So, whatever, whatever. Put the damn ABV on the bottle, guys, dumbasses. All right, let's get on with this one. Commercial description on this is our most popular beer, 420 Extra Pale Ale. It's a tasty West Coast style pale ale with a good hop feel to it and a crisp, crisp finish. First brewed on April 20th, 1997, this beer has developed quite a following in the southeast. Drink them if you got them. Metals, uh, you got the silver in 2002 at the GABF. Uh, 1997 to 2003, creative loafing, readers, and critics' choice. Best local beer, silver medal, silver, me silver medal winner. I ain't had a beer yet. And in 1998, World Beer Cup, voted top 10 beers in Atlanta by Atlanta General Constitution. Malta Two Road, Munich, Karastan, 3037, and the hops of Centennial and Cascade. So, uh, that's the only thing we need to talk about there. So, let's go over to the few uh, food pairings on this one. And the Pale Ale, because it is Pan-Asian. Pan cheeses are Earthy Camembert, Fontina, uh, your Nutty Cheeses, Asiago Colby, uh, Parmesan Tangy, Brick, Adam, and Feta. And the meat is poultry, and I'll add grilled meat to that. Probably salmon. A lot of your IPA dishes uh, will go with this. This is a fairly easy drinking Pale Ale, around 5 to 6%. Uh, evidently, it's varying a little bit. Uh, I would like to see that on a bottle, though, guys. I mean, they need to put the ABV on there. And you're buying the stuff, and you're going to have a clue what the damn ABV is. What's up with that? What the hell is up with that? You got the date on it, too, but you don't know how, how strong a beer you're drinking. So what's up with that? Got the date, though, so I can't fuss too much. Yes, I can. It's my damn show. I'm going to fuss all I want to. Put the damn ABV on the bottle, boys. Boys, what's up with that? All right. Uh, glass wired pint backer non October mug stein side L. I got the uh, glass of power sent me. This is a Salvin beer glass, S A U V I N, very heavy duty, very nice glass. Uh, not recommended for extended cellaring because it's a lower ABV beer and it probably is a tad on the hot forward side. I don't think it's nowhere near like Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale, but it is what it is. A nice hiss from this one. And when I poured it the first time I reviewed it, it didn't get hardly any head, but as you see, very well carbonated. Very well carbonated. Uh, over into the light. It is a nice amber color, nice orange tangerine color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. A lot of carbonation on this particular bottle. Of course, it's been down the road and back. I think I picked this up in North Carolina or uh, South Carolina on the way down. So it's got a few road miles on it. If I can get the last little bit of this in there. I'm going to get this big monster head coming out of the top of the glass. So. Almost looks like a dessert sticking out of the top of the glass. Alright guys. Big soapy bubbles around the outside. Nice and creamy up on the top side. Very good looking beer. Like I said. It's uh, got a slight haze to it being bottle conditioned. But I can't see the bulb through it. Very nice looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Nice citrusy, orangey, tangerine, a hint of some pine in there. Very fruity smelling. Very nice smelling. I mean, it's uh, not up to the IPA because uh, I don't have the bittering. Uh, I be used on the bittering units, but I would think this is somewhere in the uh, 50, in the 50, between 40 and 60, somewhere in that area. Just guessing, just my opinion though. 
Well, let's give it a taste. First beer of the day. I am ready. Cheers, everybody. Very smooth, very easy drinking. Very citrusy. Very tasty. Just a hair on the thin side, but it's very nice. It's very pleasant. I gave this, I think I gave this an H, which is an A minus the last time I drank it. When I reviewed it about three years ago. Don't know if it's going to get quite that good a grade this time. It is a pleasant beer. Very easy drinking, but it's lacking a little information on the bottle. They need to put the ABV on the bottle, guys. I'm going to start harping about this on your lower sessionable beers. And uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're out in a bar drinking this, how are you going to know what the ABV is uh, if you're drinking it out of the bottle at the bar? And if it's not on the bottle, how are they going to know what the ABV is? So uh, that's kind of... Uh, Kind of a, a, a gimme as far as I'm concerned. Uh, a lot of the brewers put the ABV on, but they don't put the date on. These guys have chose to put the date on, but not the ABV. But we need we need we need both those those uh, bits of information, guys. Uh, if you want to put the IBUs on, it's fine. If not, that's fine too. But the date and the IB, uh, I mean date and the ABV, is kind of important information as a consumer that we need to have. So, uh, I think it's a very enjoyable beer, guys. Very easy drinking, very sessionable, if you will. A good transitional beer, if you're wanting to go to something that's not quite as bitter or hoppy as an IPA. Even though it's a little on the hot forward side, but it's not overwhelming. It's not definitely not to the IPA standards on this. So, but let me take it back and let her have a sip or two out of it, and we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this one. Very pleasant. I'm enjoying it so far. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. It's a decent beer. It's definitely an above average beer. But to be honest with you guys, I don't think it's to the quite to the A category. I've had many more beers and since I've reviewed this one uh, that are better than this. Uh, I think they need to put the ABB on the bottle. Uh, my personal opinion uh, on that is uh, if you're buying a beer out and you're enjoying it out, not at home, you kind of need to know the ABB, what you're drinking. Is it a 5%? Is it a 10%? Of course, if you've drank enough of them, you can tell by the taste what you're drinking a lot of times. And this tastes like between a 5 and a 6%. Or it's uh, we got our little bit of rumble of thunder out there. I'm trying to build up a little storm out there, it sounds like. Uh, but uh, we, we kind of need that information. At least they're putting the uh, best by date. It's not a bottled lawn date. It's an enjoy by date. So uh, not a big fan of that, but it's better than nothing at all. So with that being said, let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice. Nice citrusy taste. Very easy drinking, a little orange, a little tangerine, a hint of some pine in there, not much, but very pleasant. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to give it to 7 this time, it's a B plus. Uh, probably already even give it the B, which is a 6. Uh, but, they've got the date on it, they already enjoyed by date on it, so uh, that's a, a step in the right direction. If we just going to put the ABV on it, we'd be a lot better off, I think. Uh, uh, that's what I'm going to give it. We'll go over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 82 in the good range. And Rate Beer says 73 overall and 67 in the style. So uh, my numbers are a tad higher than, like I said, just, just as easily gave it to 6. So I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt this time. Very easy drinking. Very nice, sessionable pale ale. So if you've had this one, let me know. This is the re-review of the Sweetwater 
420 Pale Ale. Let me know what you think, guys. Got two openers left. Got a yellow one and a gray one here, guys. We need to get rid of those before I can order another one. And I've already got a pre-order for for uh, a color that I don't have. So if you need a yellow one or a gray one, let me know. I can shoot it right out to you guys. Uh, that's how we're going to wrap it up for this one. Let's go see what's in the fridge for, guys. See you then.